good morning good afternoon and good evening so today i brought back the galaxy s10 plus exynos chipset model and uh, you can see that uh, i am having one ui 7 rom the ported rom on the galaxy s10 plus let me go to about phone rom is ported from the galaxy s25 ultra so that is why you can see that s25 ultra and model number also is of the galaxy s25 ultra so this is what i got uh one ui 7.0 and white 15 and bspan if you can see the number g975f because galaxy s10 plus and build number if you can see that i am using extreme rom nexus 1.0.0 code name is beyond 2 lte the good thing is that developer released the extreme rom nexus 2.0 then released the 2.5.0 and finally the developer released the latest version of Extreme ROM Nexus 2.6.0. I didn't update my Galaxy S10 Plus to the latest updates, but uh, I will do it in today's video. So all the Extreme ROM Nexus come with the kernel SU support and I install the Play Integrity Fix also Zygis Next, which make my device certified device is certified rom is smooth but definitely like uh, after getting the 1.0 2.0 then then 2.5 and 2.6 i will go for the 2.6 now how to flash or how to update the extreme rom nexus to the latest version in case if you have extreme rom nexus version 1.0 or in case if you have version 2.0 in case if you have version 2.5 how to update having any extreme rom nexus the lower version to the latest one watch the further video getting help from my videos do not forget to like the video and uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet click the subscribe button click the bell icon click the select all thank you so much well i already have a custom rom that is why my mobile phone bootloader is already unlocked because the bootloader will remain unlocked as far we are using a custom rom now i have to check the battery it must be charged if the battery below 30 then charge it well we have to save the data because the updated version requires a clean flashing we have to update the twrp origin pack also save the data in case if you have the extreme rom version 1.0 or 2.0 or 2.5 if you are going for the latest version of the 2.6 save all the data first in lock screen select swipe as a lock screen to turn off the lock screen so it will remove uh, your biometric and uh, lock screen in case if you are using samsung account sync it and must remove it same way sync your google account also and then remove it to avoid issues i assume that you have saved the data you have done all the rest things that i just told then simply power of the mobile phone so here is my downloaded folder and you can see that i have downloaded the extreme norm nexus 2.0 2.5 but i didn't get a chance or i didn't get a time to update my galaxy s10 plus to the 2.0 or 2.5 but this is good that finally i will update my galaxy s10 plus to the latest one 2.6 which is smoother than the earliest one and will have very very minor bugs yes we have to download the origin pack like according to the model the galaxy s10 model is g975 and we have to download the latest version v2 like for example my galaxy s10 plus right now having the extreme rom nexus 1.0 which was flashed with the earliest odin pack version now i have to flash the v2 then I'm going to flash the 2.6. Links are all provided in my video description. Make a new folder and download these files. Which one? The Odin 3.14.21. Doesn't matter if in case if you have 3.13.1 or 3 or 3.14. Both versions will work. Then download the Extreme ROM Nexus for the Galaxy S10 Plus G975. The TWRP Odin Pack must be version 2 right and then go for the latest one in case if you want to flash the 2.6.0 but remember download the rom file according to the, the code name 
Galaxy S10 Plus code name is Beyond 2 LTE. After downloading, must extract the Odin first, then open the extracted folder of the Odin, then double click the Odin file, click OK on this pop up window, and then on Odin, click any slot and I will go for the AP slot. Then I will go to my downloaded folder to select the Extreme ROM Nexus TWRP Odin bag for the G975. Double click to select this file. So far things going good. Coming back towards the mobile phone. Check the mobile phone. It is must be power off. Use a good quality of data cable, right? And uh, check the other side of the data cable must be connected with computer. Now we have to boot the phone into Odin mode. For that, press and hold the volume down key and uh, big speed key. Then connect the cable with the mobile phone. In few seconds, you will see a warning screen. Release both keys. Then on the warning screen, press the volume up key once to boot the phone into Odin mode. This is the Odin mode screen. Check the KG state must show checking. The phone is connected with the computer and uh, boot it already in Odin mode. Odin already detected my mobile phone because I have installed the Samsung Android USB already on Windows. On Odin, click options, then untick the auto reboot, go back to lock, then click start to start flushing the file on the S10 Plus. When you see pass message, which means that done, exit the Odin and go back to the downloaded folder. The phone still booted into Odin mode. Now we have to boot the phone into custom recovery from the Odin mode. Check the data cable must be connected, right? Now press and hold the all four keys at same time, like volume up key, volume down key, big speed key and power key. All four keys. Remember, when mobile phone restart, release the volume down key first. When logo appears, then release the power key. Just wait for it. Okay. Now wait. Do not release the volume up key, big speed key. And now you can release both rest key. The phone will boot into TWRP. TWRP finally boot it. Our internal storage also get appears on my computer screen. Well, first thing first, I have to format data. So I will tap wipe. Then I will tap format data, type YES, tap here. When done, then go back to main screen, tap reboot and tap recovery. Swipe to allow modifications. The internal storage will appear on your computer screen. On the recovery screen, I will tap settings. Then I will go to third menu and I will make the screen time out to maximum. I will uh, higher the brightness little bit. So I can see and you can see the things clearly. Now coming back towards the computer screen. I will go to my downloaded folder and I will copy the latest version of the Extreme ROM Nexus 2.6.0 from the downloaded folder. Then we'll go back to the internal storage of the mobile phone and I will paste the file on the internal storage. So it will take a time. Just wait for it. So I got the file on my internal storage. Right now I am done from the computer. I can disconnect the cable from the mobile phone and simply tap install. Select the ROM file by tapping on it. Then swipe to start flashing it. You have to read that after installation, it is highly recommended to format data as follows. Well, I have done already this thing. So press the volume up key once to continue. It will take a time. We have to wait. Flashing done, script succeeded. Well, I have already formatted my partition, so I'm not going to reformat the partition, right? I will simply tap reboot system. The mobile phone will stay a little long on the logo, then finally it will start booting to the ROM. The first boot will take a time. The first boot got ended. Welcome screen got appears on my mobile phone. I will complete the setup screen. So so far things went very smooth and the rom got flash perfectly on my galaxy s10 plus so these are the applications coming uh, default with the rom we are having a kernel su support also the kernel su next the latest one the manager version you can see 1.0.9 
I will go to settings. Let me change something in display like uh, changing the fonts. Okay, much better. And now I will go to about phone and you can see the changes. The Extreme ROM Nexus 1.0 was showing Galaxy S25 Ultra and now it is got fixed. Now mobile phone showing Galaxy S10 Plus. Model number is G975F oblique DS dual SIM set. So both I mean numbers over here. We'll tap the software information and the phone got updated. Well, One UI version same, Android version same. Google Play system update can be update. We'll check later and the baseband number you can see that and the build number if you can see extreme rom nexus 2.6.0 code name beyond 2 lte right so the phone got updated now for the stuff that working with the latest version or uh, for the fix that coming with the rom must read my video description i will log in my gmail account then i will continue so i have logged in my gmail account after connecting the internet on the mobile phone so we have uh, issues like device is not certified i will try to fix this thing i will try to download few applications first one is the play integrity checker now it is time to check the integrity and fix the integrity in case if it is not fixed well you can see that applications on my mobile phone straightly downloaded from the google play store first let me check the banking application rom is rooted but have to check the banking application the first one is working now let me check the second one this one is also working let me check the third one you can see that it is working and the last one and this one also working so i checked the four banking applications and they all are working although the rom is rooted let me show i have got kernel su next support super user is here and uh, modules i can see that right now uh, the about the integrity checker first i will check the integrity only the first one meets basic integrity can be seen with the green uh, with the green color but rest both are in the red colors the uh, strong integrity red device integrity red let me fix this now now first of all the modules links are provided in my video description these are one two three four five six seven eight nine nine modules that you have to download from the provided links in my video description first one bc box ls post version 1.10 doesn't matter like if you are watching the video in future and you see the updated version over there download the updated one and go with the updated one right Play integrity fix version 4.2 in Jack, Shemiko, Tricky Store, Tricky Add on, Yuriki, Zygis Assistant, and Zygis Next. Now open the kernel SU, then go to the module section, tap install, tap recent, select the S10 Plus, change the view, and then start installing the modules. First, insta install the Zygis Assistant. Done go back then tab install scroll down install the zygis next done go back tab install scroll down well i install these two modules zygis assistant and zygis next now install the tricky store let me tell you that install the modules the way i am installing install the tricky store now done go back tab install scroll down Install the tricky add-on module. Turn, go back, then tab install, scroll down, install the busy box. Turn, go back, tab install, scroll down, install the LS pose. Turn, go back, tab install, scroll down, now install the Yuri key. Turn, go back tab install scroll down install the play integrity fix version 4.2 install it go back tap install scroll down and the last one shamiko 
done. Tap reboot. The ROM code put it. Now I will open the kernel SEO next. Then I will go to module section just to check all the modules are working properly and compatible with the kernel SU next. No red lines any over there here over here, right? And one more thing, you need to check all the modules. Any module showing update, then update it, right? Now it is time to start the play integrity fix. Let me check the integrity checker once again. Well, you can see that I got two green color tick sign here. The basic integrity which was passed already and now I got the device integrity also passed. But strong integrity is showing red. Let me fix this now. I will go back to, to kernel SU next. I am already in the module section. There is no need to do something with the play integrity fix. Well, the job has been done already, right? If I tap here, you can see that the open is not prominent. Job done. Now, now go to tricky store, tap on it and tap open. Then tap the three lines to the top right side. Then tap select all. Then tap once again the three lines. Tap deselect and necessary. Then once again tap the three lines. Then tap set valid key box. This one. Valid key box set successfully. Once again tap the three lines. Then uh, tap set security patch. Then tap get security patch date. Done. Tap save. Done. Tap save once again done go back then tap the uri key box manager and tap the first option done you can see that meets strong integrity with uri key manager tap close i will go back to home done then i will check the integrity checker once again tapping the check let's see what i will get this time now I got all the three tick sign in green color. I got the basic integrity pass. I got the device integrity pass and I got the strong integrity also pass done. Now I will open the play store to check the device certified thing. Device is certified. If you can see that, let me show it closely done. All things done. I got the latest version of the extreme rom let me show so this is what i got 7.0 basement extreme rom nexus 2.6.0 the latest one and i got the strong integrity also and things done very smooth and this is a very good rom definitely you are going to enjoy the rom thank you for watching the video take a good care of yourself i will see you in my next video until then goodbye